This case goes back to last spring during a labor dispute between WestJet and the Airline Pilots Association when a 72-hour strike notice was issued, along with a lockout notice by the airline. Now, according to court documents, the BC couple says WestJet canceled a part of their flight before a strike took place and rebooked them on a flight which arrived a day later to their final destination, which was in Italy. They took their case before BC Civil Resolution Tribunal, which is the equivalent to small claims court, asking for $2,000 in compensation for the cancelled flight, arguing that because a strike was averted, the cancellation of their flight was still in the airline's control. But the tribunal ruled that a 72-hour strike notice does qualify as a labour disruption, stating with or without the lockout notice, WestJet was not in control of the strike and therefore found the reason for the flight cancellation outside of WestJet's control. However, the airline was ordered to pay over $350 to the couple for meals and accommodation, but dismissed the remaining claims. But now the airline advocacy group, Air Passenger Rights, is challenging that ruling, saying in its view, the air passenger protection regulations were misinterpreted. We are saying that the Civil Resolutions Tribunal simply got the interpretation of the air passenger protection regulations wrong. This was not what... Uh, the regulations actually say, and there was simply no causal link between those cancellations and any kind of labor disruption, as long as the workers were present and were willing to do the, the job. If WestJet is allowed to refuse to pay just because there is a strike notice, even though there is no strike, then it can be abused by any airline to avoid paying compensation all the time. WestJet now has 21 days to respond, followed by a hearing before a judge where a ruling is eventually issued. If successful, Air Passenger Rights says it would create a precedent and be a great step forward with a clear interpretation of the law, which could potentially impact air passengers positively in the future. And if you have a consumer issue for me, you can email me at consumermatters at globalnews.ca.